the panel slider element displays multiple panel elements in an image slider. Just like a panel, each slider item has three text fields – title, meta and content, an image field or an alternative icon field, as well as a link with its text field. Now let's take a look at the element settings. The panel element has options to set the item width for each breakpoint in percentage. For example, in my case, on the phone portrait mode, the items should be shown separately. But on the phone landscape and tablet portrait modes, two items should be shown. But starting from the tablet landscape mode and higher, the item width is 33%, which means three items will be shown. Alternatively, instead of setting a fixed item width, you can also expand all items to the width of their content. Also, you can set the size of the column gap between slider items. And optionally, show dividers between them. To align the images without any gaps when using a blank panel, Use a panel padding, for example, let's set it to default. And set the slider column gap to none. By default, the slider slides items one by one. But you can also group slider items into sets and slide all visible items at once. The number of items within a set depends on the defined item width. For example, in my case, 20% means that each set contains 5 items. Additionally, you can center the active slide Disable infinite scrolling or enable autoplay. The panel slider element has various navigation options. You can add a dot nav navigation and an additional slide nav to navigate to the previous and next slides. Also, you can define the position and margin for each navigation. For example, in my case here, I have only one dot nav navigation positioned in the center. And in the example below, there is only one slide nav navigation positioned in the top right corner. Of course, the panel slider element has much more other settings. But since the element displays multiple panels, their settings are explained in the panel element documentation. And options for the different content fields are very similar across all elements. They are described in the corresponding headline, text, image, icon, and button elements.